Today, I'm sharing with you seven beginner-friendly product ideas that you could easily scale to replace a nine to five income. I've grown what's approaching a multi-million dollar business that uses the same structure as these ideas that I'm gonna share with you and it makes a lot more than most nine to fives. I've selected these ideas with scaling in mind, so after you test and make sure that there's a market for that product on Etsy, you would still be able to scale it past seven or eight figures on Shopify. So without further ado, let's get right into idea number one, which is selling pet collars. We all know that targeting the emotions of customers is the best way to get sales. And that's why these custom pet collars sell like crazy. So much so that there are entire shops dedicated to just selling these products. This shop, for example, that simply sells dog collars with patterns on them has done over a million dollars just in the past few years. And this customizable listing has made an estimated $140,000 in revenue. There are more shops like this one where they do sell some other items, but their dog collars drive most of the sales. And they've had massive success over the past three years. Their dog collars are almost the exact same thing that we just saw, just with different pattern choices. Some shops on Etsy take a different approach, like these sleek suede bands and metallic metal buckles, but it's fundamentally the exact same product. And as you can see, both can be very successful. And there's a couple ways that you could execute this business. The obvious answer would be to order all of the product, like the bands, the buckles, and the engraving tools, and learn how to assemble the products for yourself. But an even easier and safer method would be to simply drop ship the collars directly to your customers. Pretty much the only thing we'd need to get started is a design, so let's make one. Midjourney is a text to image generation AI, which we've all probably seen before, and using it is really easy. You just give it a prompt, which is just a line of text, which tells it what kind of image you want to generate. And when you hit enter, it'll generate the image right in front of your face. But there's a trick we can use to always generate seamless patterns to use on the collars. You could type out pretty much anything that you want. And at the end of the prompt, just add dash dash tile. And this will print you a seamless pattern almost every time. Now, I've got a dedicated video on this, so you can check that out if you're interested in more detail. And now with that pattern made, all we would have to do is apply it to the dog collar and then fulfill any orders that came in. And that's where Printify comes into play. Printify is a print-on-demand company that offers all kinds of white label products like these that you can drop ship directly from within the US. All you have to do is pick a product like this dog collar right here, and upload some kind of pattern or design to it. And you could choose which buckles you wanna sell as well. Then you can connect your Printify account to your Etsy shop, and you'll be able to publish products directly from Printify to Etsy. Now, when a customer comes along and buys that dog collar from you, Printify will have that design printed on it and shipped directly to your customer's door. You'll never have to hold any inventory, print or engrave the products, and you never have to pay for the products until you've already made a sale. This is the type of business where after you see some success with print on demand, you could absolutely scale into selling other types of products and move to a private website on Shopify. The barrier to entry is super low, meaning that there is a fair amount of competition, so you would have to make really good listings and products to stand out without having to run ads. But if the competition does scare you, then this next idea might suit you a little bit better, and that's by selling pet renaissance portraits. These are just super funny portrait images, basically, of your pet's face on top of some kind of royal looking body, and it makes a lot of money. Basically, a customer sends a photo of their pet, and they'll receive back a photoshopped image, like this one, either as a digital download or a physical print. This shop called Van Wolf is averaging about $244,000 per year just from their Etsy shop, and their entire focus is this style of painting. Now, this other shop called Tiny Fluffy sells basically more of the same products, but they're all very similar styles to one another, and they've also been massively successful with their business on Etsy. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, there is really low competition, and you can make a really high profit margin, but these images are probably very difficult to make. And you're probably right, but there's a much easier method to get similar results. Now, the easiest method would be to buy the design directly from someone who already knows how to make it on a website like Fiverr. If you did this, you could basically test out selling the product for yourself without having to worry about learning anything new. The second option obviously uses AI, but it's not perfect, so you would have to use a little bit of your own ability to make this work. I went back into Midjourney and started trying to craft a prompt that would give me a portrait like the ones that sell. And honestly, this was pretty easy to achieve. I asked it for a pet in a military uniform, 
and then just added some detail words to the end of the prompt to see what kind of results I could get. Now to me, these images look great and exactly like what I would want if I ordered one, but as I mentioned, there are a few issues. First is that the uniforms and backgrounds won't always generate exactly the same because the AI doesn't really do that. And second is you can't really use the customer's photo to generate the pet's face. Now Midjourney has rolled out some features like the blend mode to merge images that you might want to use together, but I really couldn't get this to work right. Your best bet would probably be to generate an image with a body that you liked and then use Photoshop to remove the pet's head and replace it with your customer's pet's image and then apply a watercolor filter to hide any imperfections like all of the other shops do. Again, you'd need to use your own brilliant brain here to figure out all of the steps and skills involved, but there's a lot of potential here to make much more than a traditional nine to five income. Plus there's a lot of room here for scaling a larger Shopify brand that you might be able to sell one day. Should I make an entire video going over this business idea or one of the ideas in this video? Let me know in the comments section. The next idea came to me because I spend money on these products for my own business. What I'm talking about is selling digital graphics and clip art. This shop called Heather Roberts Art sells digital download graphics and clip art and her shop has been massively successful over the last three years. She's done roughly $2.3 million, which means she's likely profiting anywhere from 54 to $60,000 per month. Here's a very similar shop that also sells digital graphics and clip art, and their $3.3 million in sales comes out to about $370,000 each year. And again, that's roughly 91% profit since they're all digital downloads. There's a lot of shops like this, but these ones stood out to me in particular because they're doing something a little different. When I was scrolling through, I noticed this listing and it might look like a normal one, but it's actually made entirely using AI. That means AI did all of the work making these mushrooms and so far it's made $448 in profit. Not all of their 5,000 products were made using AI, but a lot of the new listings are. And it's super easy to make graphics just like these if you know how. Back in Midjourney, you can type in whatever kind of graphic you want to generate and just make sure to include on a white background at the end of the prompt. And this will generate whatever kind of graphic you just described. What's cool about this is you could just run it through an image background remover to take out the white background and then use an image upscaler to make it higher quality if you need to. And then you're just left with this simple cutout graphic that you could list for sale. Now that alone isn't too difficult, but there's something that we could add inside the prompt that will allow us to generate tons of images from one single prompt. When you find a prompt that works like this one, carrot in the style of watercolor on a white background, you might want to try it with more items than just a carrot. What you can do is come inside the prompt and add two curly brackets where the word carrot is. And then you can type in as many items as you want, just make sure to separate each one by a comma. And I can do the same thing for the styling. So instead of just watercolor, I can add some curly brackets and I could say watercolor, oil painting, hand drawn, vector graphic, and so on. And now when I hit enter, it will ask me if I want to generate this many images. Just to remember that each time it runs, it will give you four variations for each prompt. So 10 prompts becomes 40 images. Now I could leave this to generate and when I came back, I would have 80 potential images that I could use in my shop. Now most likely this business does get a little bit boring because you have to post a lot of images to be able to compete with the other shops. But with the goal in mind of making anywhere close to $50,000 a month, I think that this is a solid opportunity and definitely competes with most nine to fives. The hardest part about this business would definitely be the consistency and the ability to craft the perfect prompts. A few days ago, when I was researching that prompt hack that I just gave you, I came across something pretty interesting. There are shops on Etsy literally selling prompt guides. These guides are as straightforward as they sound, basically just spelling out how to use and speak AI depending on what your goals are. There are all kinds of guides from mid-journey specific guides on how to create particular looks to these big guides that cover enormous amounts of material. The shop that caught my eye is called Fixly and they've only been on Etsy for around seven months and they've already made over $40,000. So I'm guessing that projected out over the year, as they continue to grow, they'll definitely hit six figures. Again, almost all profit since it's a digital product. Now it's pretty easy to make that amount of money at a nine to five, but considering that this is a brand new shop with only 93 listings, 
and the competition is not only super low, but they all have terrible listing images, I think you stand a good chance of standing out and getting some sales if you went into this niche. To do this effectively, you will have to have some experience prompting and using the AI tools, but if you're doing any of the previous ideas, then you'll pick that up pretty quickly. The best way that I've found great prompting information is by coming to Twitter and using the advanced search feature. This lets you plug in keywords that you're looking for. So I'd want to find tweets that contain the word prompt, and then we can also include either ChatGPT or MidJourney in this section. And finally, I'll look for tweets with at least 500 likes to only find the best tweets. You'll see that we start getting information like how to prompt ChatGPT to write like a human, and that tweet went really viral. Or right here, 12 prompts for marketing. You could collect a lot of this information and curate it into a guide that you would be able to sell to people who don't know how to use the AI programs or don't have the time to learn all of the prompting tips and tricks on their own. Idea number five, you can start really small, but it's got the potential to be a multiple seven figure business on Etsy alone. And that's simply by selling candles. This shop called Perfect Match Shop has built an entire business around selling these funny saying candles. There's a lot of shops that sell these kind of candles, but this one stands out in particular. Their shop has brought in $1.66 million, averaging $524,000 a year. With a fairly big number like that, I was wondering how they got there. I dug a little bit deeper into this shop and found that the top 20% of the listings are generating 80% of the sales, and specifically the top 10 listings. Just five of those top 10 listings generate almost $15,000 a month. That means that roughly 1% of their listings are generating 40% of their sales, but they still had to post at least 559 candles to find those 1% that sell really well. And that doesn't include all of the potential listings that they deleted. So remember that if you're starting any of these businesses, that it takes a lot of time and practice to make stuff that actually sells. But luckily for us, this one is pretty easy. The two main candles that this shop sells can be found right on Printify. And that means that all we need to do is make a nice looking design and upload it to the candle. And the print on demand business model that we talked about earlier will handle everything else. I can use ChatGPT to generate me a list of funny trademark free sayings that can go on my candle labels relating to any topic that I can think of, along with a good font recommendation and watch the list generate right before my eyes. Then I can hop into a design program like Figma or Canva and just paste in the saying and then pick a good font for it. Then I can take that design and upload it directly to Printify, and you can see it gets applied directly to the candle. And just like I mentioned before, once an order comes in for that candle, it'll get printed and shipped out directly to the customer. This business, again, in principle, would be really easy to execute because it's just funny sayings on candle labels. If you're also looking at t-shirts and mugs to find more saying inspiration, I think it's gonna be really hard for you to run out of ideas. Now, there's a website called Market Pulse that shows the top 100 sellers of the last 30 days based on the number of sales. The crazy thing is that between five of those top 100 shops, they've collectively sold over 92,837 Tumblr wraps. This business seems really straightforward. They're selling either an individual wrap for one to $2, or they're selling packs for around $7. The shop that we're looking at has gone from zero sales to over 73,000 in eight months time. That means she's made around 120 to $198,000 in just eight months. When I was looking at the images, I can't tell for sure but these little graphical errors in some of the designs don't really look like a human is making them. On top of that, seeing how many designs these Tumblr wrap shops are making, I think it's entirely possible that they're using AI to achieve this. When I tried this out for myself, I used the exact same method as before to see if we could generate a lot of ideas with just one prompt, except at the end of the prompt, I just added dash dash AR for aspect ratio, and then the numbers 349 colon 262. And now when it generates our images, it will make them the correct aspect ratio for a tumbler wrap. Once they were done generating, I used the same image upscaler as before. And then when I applied it to the tumbler and Printify, you can see it fits perfectly. If you go through and look at what the community on Midjourney is making on Midjourney's website, you can see there's actually a lot of similar designs to what sell as tumbler wraps 
So looking at their prompts might give you some good inspiration. I know this business idea is not the most glamorous, but right now it's exploding in popularity. I think you could hop on this and make some money. You'd also see what designs are selling as digital products, and you'd be able to apply them to physical tumblers and drop ship those as well, or create a niche of designs and start building out your own brand on a website. This next product idea might not be for everyone, but it just goes to show that you can sell pretty much anything, and they just happen to sell fabric prints. Now this shop called Spoonflower, they sell pattern prints on fabric and on wallpapers. So it's not just one product, but the patterns work either way. This is probably as simple as it gets when it comes to repeatable businesses. All they're doing is making good patterns and selling them on wallpapers and fabrics. And before I show you how much money they've made, because they've made a lot, I wanted to show you that they've really put a lot of work into this. They have tens of thousands of listings and while they've probably actually designed less than half of that because they post their patterns on multiple products, they've been extremely dedicated to making and posting patterns. Most of the patterns are extremely simple and almost anyone watching this video could make the same quality of pattern. It's just that most people don't wanna dedicate the amount of time that this would take. Especially with tools like Midjourney, this would be easier than ever to generate a pattern and upload it for sale on a fabric or wallpaper. As far as how much money they've made, They've done over $7.2 million on Etsy alone, and that doesn't even count whatever they've made on their personal website. Hopefully what this shows you is that you can build a brand around almost anything and scale it and turn it into what's likely an eight-figure business. I've got a bunch of links and discount codes for you to get things like 40 free listings on Etsy so that you can legitimately jumpstart your business completely for free as well as a bunch of other helpful resources right below the subscribe button, so make sure to check those out. Let me know in the comments what products you wanna see individual videos on, and as always, I'll talk to you soon.